This is Coogan Cassius for I Film London. On the phone right now, we've got promoter Frank Maloney. How are you, Frank? I'm OK, thanks. Yeah, just to um, your, um, just clear up your, your health situation, because you had a, you collapsed the other day after the David Price fight. So how are you, Frank, first of all? Yeah, I'm OK, thanks. It's just a slight little problem I suffer with, but um, nothing too drastic, I hope. Well, the hospital can't find a The hospital actually on this defy, why it keeps happening, it's about the fifth time it's happened to me in the space of about a year and a half. Po- um, possibly stress-related, Frank? I probably think it's stress-related, you know. And it's probably a release valve for me to pass out instead of getting worked up and screaming at everybody. <laughs> okay. Um, now, obviously, it's, you've had a few days to uh, reflect on what's happened over the weekend, uh, Frank. First of all, how, how's David? Yeah, he's okay. We've spoken. He's um, as happy as can be expected, or taken it as well as it can, you know, can be expected. We sort of discussed um, what went wrong on the night, and we're having a, a team get together tomorrow. Um, it's easy for me to say this in hindsight, Frank, but do you regret taking the fight with Tony Thompson? No, I would do it over again. It was just, it was just one of those things about heavyweight boxing is what makes it so interesting. Um, you know, David and the team realised that a mistake was made. They've all, they've all studied the tape, and I have myself. We're, um, you know, and we're professional enough to sit on the night and submit we got it wrong. Um, obviously, um, it, it's important not to get carried away with, you know, I mean, I've seen some people's tweets and stuff about, you know, what's happened, and it's important that to not get carried away with, you know, it is David's first defeat as a professional, and as it's been pointed out, that all the best heavyweights have, they've been, you know, put to the canvas and they've been beaten, they've come back and become world champions, but where does this leave David Price, in your opinion? Um, it's just a setback, the train was derailed. That's all. I mean, Klitschko, the two Klitschkos were beaten. One was beaten by Ross Purity, and one was beaten by um, Corey Sanders. So let's not get cut. And look how long they've ruled the heavyweight division. Lennox Lewis was beaten by Oliver McCall, and look how he ruled the heavyweight division. And had two losses, Lennox, but still has a legacy that uh, no one else in the modern day has got. Um, I know it's only a few days after the fight, but is it important now for David's next fight, obviously, to be the right fight for him is it gonna would you rather him just have say it's not a warm up fight but just uh, just to ease no, him I back into it or stay at the level he's at and go in at the level that um, he, he's used to going in at so do you know who potentially and when he could be back out in the ring again we will sit down this week and discuss it um, David wants to get back out in the ring as soon as possible ok um what sort of what's been the response from the fans obviously it was a packed arena there the other day at the Echo um, what's been the response after this because like I said it's, it's something that David Price's fans and yourself as a promoter with David Price haven't experienced before um, the atmosphere well, I've experienced it before with other fighters so yeah I meant with David Price yeah yeah well, listen it's something you're always prepared for you're always prepared for the worst we will just um, you know we'll just get on with it I mean it hasn't changed my views on David Price. He's still the best heavyweight out there. We're still going to just move forward. So it's um, it's it's just one of those things. It just happened. How does this affect um, a potential future fight with Tyson Fury? Well, I just think it might make it easier. <laughs> but, um, you know, I'm not worried about Tyson Fury or worried about anything. I'm just worried about getting our own... Um, our own house in order um, correcting the mistake we made and moving forward mm. um, there are a few fighters a few other fighters obviously fighting on the bill uh, the other night um, Kevin Satchel um, retaining his title Adi Wanmar putting himself right in the mix of that uh, well Adi Wanmar's next fight will be against Darren Hamilton you know and again it shows you that people don't understand boxing you've got all these guys on Twitter saying why did he fall for the title before he Steve Williams was the mandatory due to injury had been kept put in put off which finally been made and we've now seen the um, result Hamilton is proven to be a very good domestic champion and um, it's nice to work with him and Spencer Fear and they're, they're okay guys and um, easy to work with so I'm sure we can make the fight or else it'll go to purse bids but the next fight for both guys will be 
um, Hamilton against um, Enwa. Um, any time scale of when that will be? So, Frank, what are you going to do? Are you going to have a few days off, take it easy for a little while? or you sh- I don't suppose you are, are you? Straight back into it. No, I'm in the office today working. We're looking through everything and we're going over everything. Um, you know, it's just a matter of um, getting your head down and knocking, knocking it out. Hmm. All right, well, listen, Frank, I'm not going to take too much of your time because I know... Uh, like you said, you're busy in that, so um, thanks for talking to our film, London. Just, um, okay, no, appreciate that. Thank you for the support. No, that's all right. You know, listen, we, we're here to support, and, you know, we just, uh, we hope David comes back and, you know, and, uh, yeah, shows us, you know, that the other day was just a setback and get back to, do, to doing what he does, so, yeah. Doing best, yeah? Yes, indeed. Okay, then. All right, Frank, thank you very much for talking to us. Thank you. Bye. Frank Maloney there. Thank you very much.